Welcome back guys. In tonight's video, I'm going to talk about a common issue that I've noticed in some of the networking groups that I participate in, especially amongst the newer members of the group. I've noticed that a lot of them come in to the group eager and ready to contribute, but they often feel like they don't have anything of value that they can contribute to the group. And I want to talk about this because this is something that I actually struggled with as well when I first started, you know, joining groups and participating in these sort of meetups and events. Now that I've spent some time in these circles and I've managed to accumulate some experience, I want to share with you guys how I manage those situations. So first thing that I would recommend is to always bring high energy to the events you attend, especially if it's one of the first events you're going to. And the reason for this is because people love positive people. Positivity is contagious. If you're an upbeat person, you're going to be likable and people will want to spend time with you. People will always remember how you make them feel. So make an effort to introduce yourself to everyone, be charismatic, and also be willing to listen more than you talk, especially if it's the first event. Because you, you want to present yourself in the proper way. You, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot by talking too much or saying the wrong thing to, to someone that maybe is ahead of you in life that would be a good connection or a good relationship to build on. Then after you attend some of these events, you're now going to be in a position where you can start welcoming even newer members to those events. Essentially, you're going to be helping out people who are in your same shoes and you can make them feel welcome, answer any questions they have and be accessible to them. Because that's a way you can bring value to these people. You're helping the more tenured members in the group by facilitating the interaction between the younger members and the senior members. This is a great way to present yourself in a proper manner and to show your commitment to the group. And the second way you can contribute is by bringing other people to the table. Essentially, when you feel like you have nothing to bring, bring other people in. Some people have a natural ability for connecting others and this is a really good skill to cultivate and develop because if you become the go-to guy who knows the right people, you're going to start building a reputation as a facilitator and people will naturally want to associate themselves with you. And this is also a great way to contribute early on until you eventually develop your own offer or your own manner of bringing value to the group. And most importantly, be sure to give yourself time. You're not expected to have it all figured out on day one. Over time, you're going to find out that you have much more to offer than you initially realized. Never undervalue yourself and never salt your own hustle. I hope that offers a new perspective for next time you start doubting yourself or not knowing how to contribute to someone who may be ahead of you in life at this point in time. But remember that networking, it's all about people. Life is all about people and the relationships you make. So keep that in mind. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what other topics you want to see in the channel. As always, I appreciate you for watching and I will see you in the next one.